So, yeah, it's it's a fairly interesting proposition for, for a film, a woman trekking across the Australian outback. Why, why do you think, what do you think the appeal is? I think that, um, I mean, it, it, it's a story that happened actually in the 70s and had been, um, has been being developed seeing I remember getting a, a sort of vintage copy from the 80s of the original book that Robin Davidson wrote on the trip about the trip and it said on the back soon to be a major motion picture so it took a good you know I think Mia Vosikowska wasn't even born when that sort of a, the assumption that this was going to be turned into a film um, happened and it was Disney were developing it and I think you know quite famously Julia Roberts was going to play the role you know sort of decades ago so it's it's always had a sort of energy about it in terms of being turned into a film and I think I think in some ways coming around now it's even more interesting because from a period film sort of perspective it's set at a time with no mobile phones there was this opportunity I think for people to disconnect from it all to sort of in some ways find themselves and I think this film looks at at that possibility and maybe that's what a lot of people want to do you know with all the technology that exists in the world today and how we're all communicating and also close-knit maybe there's a little bit of I don't know so, some sort of hope that you can somehow get away and, and 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 do a trek and sort of live a different life a little bit. Why do you suppose it's taken so long then if you know if it was being developed 25 30 years ago? I think that um Oh, I don't know. It's it's hard to say, really. It, sometimes a film just has a natural time by which to come through. But I think what we wanted to do was was take it back to the reason why people fell in love with the book so much, especially in Australia. And then my company is in the UK and also also in Sydney. So I think we always felt that the best way of telling the story was actually to tell the truth and go back to the actual original story and how it happened and the fact that it was an Australian woman who took that journey. And... Mia Vosikowska existing, I think, in the world, and the fact that she was so perfect to play this role. And I think at the end of the film, when you see, when you've experienced that journey with her, and then you see the real photos of Robin Davidson, I, th I think you sort of understand why this was the version that got made. And you're in competition at the film festival. How does that feel? Um, it's uh, it's it's fantastic, actually. I think it's uh, for our company. I think it's the second time we've been in competition because I think Shame was in competition here a couple of years ago. So um, it's one of I think I think the competition side of it is sort of irrelevant in some ways, but it is nice to be identified, I guess, as being a film which has a very distinctive dynamic to it, and obviously the landscape and and uh, and the look of the film and the way that John has. John Curran's directed it, I, I think, sort of sets it apart as something which is worth extra attention, and that's been really wonderful. Marvellous. Thank you very much, sir.